friends, welcome back to my channel, Plenty Princess 92 and today I have, I think, one of the most exciting unboxes I have ever done this far. So in this box, I have a, I believe, a newer hybrid of a philodendron. It's the philodendron strawberry shake. So I'm really excited to um, unbox this, see what it looks like. Um, I got this from an Etsy seller and as always I will link the shop in the description below. Um, I had a really really great experience so far with this seller. Um, a couple days before it was shipped he came into the shop and um, saw that there was a browning leaf on the plant which um, if you're already into plants, you know, if you already have experience with uh, plants for quite some time, you already know that uh, with white leaves, especially with white leaves, um, they tend to get a browning. So, you know, a lot of people or even him, he could have just sent me the plant and it could have happened in the mail, but he actually sent me a picture of the way the leaf was currently when he noticed uh, that that had occurred before he shipped it out and just made sure that I was okay with that. And he wanted to make sure that the pictures that I saw was the same exact, was the same exact plant that I will be receiving in the mail. So I really, really liked that. Um, so as long as this plant comes through just as the pictures, this box will, this unboxing will continue to be a really positive experience. So I won't keep you waiting any longer. I don't wanna wait any longer. So we'll get right into this box. When we first open it, it has a bunch of um, cotton stuffed into the top to keep the box full so it doesn't move around. This is a pretty big box as you can see. As I'm pulling this out, it is taped also inside the box, so that prevents it as well from shifting around. Now, the Etsy shop I got this from is uh, TWP Tropical. That's the Etsy shop, and again, I will link that down below. The owner, the owner is Tommy Poling, I think. So again, that's who I spoke to, and um, it really just was great communication, and I was actually very, very, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but I was very pleased and very shocked that um, he actually messaged me to, you know, tell me that little bit of information because I don't think most people would even have thought to, um, you know, go ahead and do that. So that was a really big plus and I really did appreciate that. There's bubble wrap um, around this whole plant here. I believe it is shipped in a pot. Yep, so it's shipped in its pot. And then inside of the bubble wrap, there is also some um, like really tough wrapping paper sort of to kind of give it some extra strength. And then it's rolled down and taped for security at the top. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. I am so excited to show this to you. So there's also stuffing paper in with the leaves, stuffing paper, cotton balls, then with the leaves to keep the leaves from folding or bending or crushing. And I just can't, I can't. Okay, so here is this plant, Philodendron Strawberry Shake. So now this is the little bit of browning that he notified me about, which really is not that bad. And like I said previously, when you have variegated plants, especially variegate, variegated plants with white on their leaves, that tends to really happen. There is no preventing it. That's also something that commonly happens with shipping and it really is just unavoidable. So, I mean, you know, it, it happens. Um, and we're all aware of that. So I, I was just very pleased that he um, 
let me know about that, sent me a picture so I could see it. Of course, I still wanted this beautiful plant. So now let's check out some of this foliage. So I will first continue to show you this leaf that started to brown here a little bit on the side. Other than that, it is actually has some very, very beautiful variegation. It has a lot of pink in it already. So like when you see pictures of these and maybe some of the pictures that I saw didn't really have a lot of that pink variegation, but in the pictures, it's really hard to tell. Um, and it kind of looks like it's just white. So I am so excited to have the pink in it. I really am excited. I figured, you know, if I got it and it was just, you know, why, of course I could get it to pink with the sunlight that I provide it, but it's nice that it already came through with that pink foliage tint to it. And if I put that leaf to shade it, you can kind of see the pink in those two lighter spots. One, two, three, four, five. So we have six leaves. We have new growth on the way. This is a really neat leaf. It's like a split leaf with the lime green and then like the darker green. That one's neat. And then this one's just kind of rather plain. It has a little bit of speckle to it, um, a little bit of pink down there. But this plant is really beautiful. It has the red stemming just like the pink princess does, except it doesn't have the, um, you know how the pink princess has like the lighter and then the darker streaks going through it. This doesn't really have that. It just has the reddish stems which really adds to the color of this plant it really makes the pink in the leaves pop so as with the pink princess i would think the care for this is going to be quite similar i am going to keep this in my grow tent because i'm sure it will appreciate a little bit of that higher humidity i will water this bottom water this when the top since it's in a like a four inch pot i think i will water this when i feel that the top inch starts to dry out um, because I want to be sure that I don't overwater it. So again, I will be bottom watering uh, this when that tends to happen. Bottom watering will also then um, help reduce the chance of getting fungus gnats if you don't really get that top inch of soil wet, um, since that's what they look for. So that's another plus. I like to try to keep those away from all my plants, but I really try to prevent those from my more expensive plants. Um, if you've seen these around, you know they go for a pretty penny. I paid a little bit over 600 for this with tax and shipping so i am definitely going to take really great care of this um, i do believe as this grows it does start to vine just as the pink princess does i don't think this is a self-heading philodendron but i could be mistaking um so don't quote me on that but it looks like it's starting to vine up as the new leaves come in because we have this leaf here and then it's coming up and then we have this another uh, new growth that's coming in that looks like it's gonna continue to go upward. So it really does look like it's going to be a climber. So I'll have to get it a moss pole. That will also encourage bigger leaves. And this will be in a bright lit room with east, south, and north facing windows. So it will be, get a lot, a lot of bright indirect light, but it will also be in that grow tent, as I mentioned, with some artificial lighting to help bring out some of this pink. So we'll just go over these leaves one more time to really get a good look at this pink variegation. It's just so stunning. I really wish this was not the leaf that was browning, <laughs> but that's okay. She'll put out another one, I'm quite sure. So that's nice. It looks like she's wrapped in sphagnum. I will take her out of here. And as long as she's not potted in soil, I will briefly show you guys what we are working with here with the roots. But if she's in soil, then I'm not going to take her out. If she's not in soil, I may try to grow her hydroponically. So that would be a really cool plus. <gasps> Looks like she's in sphagnum which would make me really happy because I do, I, I really would like to grow her hydroponically. I just started propagating some pink princesses hydroponically, semi-hydroponically in LECA, and I think they are really gonna do great. 
So I would love to grow this philodendron. And I have some other philodendrons that I am growing semi-hydroponically and they are really just thriving. So let's just get her out of here very, very carefully. Okay. So I do see a tiny bit of rot. She has two and I'm glad they just packed this in sphagnum because if it was in soil, then obviously I wanted to took this out to be able to see this. Um, she has two roots that are giving off some feeders. This one is starting to rot though, so I probably will cut this one off and just leave this one. Um, so I will then throw this in some LECA with some water, some newt, and some Super Thrive to reduce the stress. And she will root up quite readily, really quickly, and I don't think it's going to be an issue at all whatsoever. So I'm not too worried about that. This is a nice little cutting, a nice little set of nodes here. Um, there's one, two, there's three nodes available to root. So if I stick it to this last root here, there'll be three spots where it can then push out some roots. So that's it for this beauty, the pink, pink strawberry shake. Thank you guys again for joining me in another unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this one just as much as I did. I was really excited to receive this plant. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. And as always, every plant's a princess. Bye.